is a flawed measure better than no measure at all? No, actually a flawed measure may be worse okay. uh, because you'll end up optimizing the wrong thing. You know, and that's what we're all, a lot of the greenwashing is coming from because you end up with measures that are not really measuring what you want. We fall into the bad accountants uh, trap. If you can't um, measure what you want, want what you can measure. Well, that's a bad principle uh, in general. Uh, we should try to measure what we want uh, because some of the surrogate measures will distort behavior if they're not really aligned with the phenomenon you are trying to affect. And, and just as you know, Bonnie said, if, you know, if, if we say, okay, I can't do scope three well, I'll do scope one, uh, but then you offload a lot of your own emissions into your supply chain. And, or if you ask for scope three, which is an impossible measure to do accurately, you end up with this average where no one's accountable for their decisions, but no one's getting the benefit from their decisions. You know, I think we've wasted 20 years of corporate innovation in greenhouse gas reduction because companies could not quantify the benefits from doing it. And they couldn't explain it to their customers and they couldn't explain it to their investors in any plausible way. Uh, and so it was a distraction uh, and it prevented us from getting and uh, solving that problem, which we could have solved 20 years ago. Uh, so, you know, I, all my work, and again, I was an engineer, uh, is I'd rather be approximately right than precisely wrong. And almost all of my work has been guided by that principle of making sure the measurements and the accounting about capture the un what's happening in your operations in the real world. Uh, and are not just measured because it was easy to measure.